21st century is clearly shaping up to be the age of photonics, just as the 20th century was the age of electronics. Today, we use electronics all the time as an underpinning enabling technology, and photonics has the power to do much, much more. But what is photonics? Well, photons are particles of light. And so photonics is light-based physics. It's the creation, manipulation, and control of photons for doing useful things. Photonics is how we use science and technology to harness the energy and information that light carries. The fiber optic internet, energy-saving LED lights, these are all pretty familiar examples of photonics. But did you know that over a hundred of the components and operations in your smartphone use light? And not just the obvious things like the lit up display. Everything from the chips to the batteries and even the case, virtually every component has been touched by laser light during manufacturing. That's why I think of the smartphone as a photonic device. It's no surprise that I love light. I run a lab called the Photon Factory at the University of Auckland. With my team of about 25 physicists, chemists, and engineers, we study all sorts of behaviors and applications of light. At the fundamental end of the spectrum, we use femtosecond laser pulses, millions of a billionth of a second long, to study how molecules decide what to do with the light they absorb. All around us and inside us, molecules are converting light energy into more useful forms, like mechanical motion. Molecules in your eye are doing that right now so you can see. Or into tiny batteries, that's photosynthesis. Molecules in your blood convert light into heat very, very rapidly so that you don't photodegrade when you go into the sun. That's great for us. In the photon factory, we use one very short laser pulse to kick the molecule and then follow it up with another laser pulse to probe. It's like stop flash photography, but with lasers and on the time scale of atomic motion. By studying how photon energy is channeled by matter, we can figure out how to control it so that we can design better solar energy harvesters, protect important paintings and documents, and lots, lots more. One of the most powerful applications of light is in cutting things with lasers. This is big business. Just like with cutting wood, the more precise and small you make your cuts with a laser, the slower and more costly it tends to be. We use our knowledge of the physics of light-matter interactions to make precise laser micromachining more efficient for industry. At the moment, we are shaping our laser light pulses in space and time so that we can cut things faster, cheaper, smaller, and cleaner. Photonics has impact even further afield than you might imagine. We use photonics to help New Zealand's dairy industry by sorting sperm by sex. The most important genetic factor dairy farmers would like to control is the sex of their calves. We can do that using laser light. We use light to determine whether the sperm cells carry X or Y chromosomes by staining the DNA inside the cell. Turns out the females are a bit brighter than the males. Then we use light to gently nudge the sperm cells into different channels to sort them. Light exerts a force on objects by interacting with them. Usually we don't notice because the force is very small and the resistance to that force in our everyday lives is quite large. We harness this force at the very small scale. The same force that NASA uses to move sails in space, we're using to move sperm cells inside our devices. So now I've added a passion for sperm to my passion for photons. We even have a company called Engender Technologies to realize this photonics tech and have won several awards here in New Zealand and internationally. That's because artificial insemination is a $1.5 billion per year business and the need for sex selection is keen. The whole project is win-win for New Zealand. We improve dairy outcomes, reduce dairy's impact on the environment, and generate high-value manufacturing exports all at the same time. Photonics at its best, and that's just one example. What does a future steeped in photonics look like? Well, when your kids are grown up, they'll be going to the local DIY store and buying photonic parts to fix things in their houses. That's just the start. We'll have quantum encrypted banking systems, photonics integrated circuits that operate at the speed of light, cost-effective clean energy from the sun, precise photonic surgical procedures, even laser-powered elevators that can reach the upper atmosphere. I think we can all see a very bright future with light-based physics and the power of photonics.